Reefs are amongst the most valuable habitats of European coasts and marine depths. They are submerged at least during high tide, but they can extend above water, forming coastal cliffs, or at great depths in the open sea. According to the Habitats Directive, a reef refers to all hard, compact marine strata, whether geological or produced by living organisms. The best-known reefs are those formed by corals. It may sound strange to talk of coral reefs in Europe because we normally associate this ecosystem with warm tropical waters, but our waters are also home to some of these important animal formations. Reefs include rocky areas, such as fields of stone blocks or pebbles and vertical walls, and surfaces of biological origin, made up of corals, worms, crustaceans, or mollusks. Stretching across European waters, they include a rich variety of associated fauna and flora, forming one of the most interesting marine habitats, both ecologically and economically. Coral Reefs to Explore European reefs spread across both cold and warm waters and can be found in the deep sea as well as in shallower areas. One can find reefs formed by polychaete worms that live in tubes and by mollusks and crustaceans such as mussels, oysters and barnacles. There are also coral reefs such as those formed by deep water white corals which Oceana documented in the Aviles Canyon in the Bay of Biscay as well as forests of yellow coral, to name just two. Cold water corals are organisms that live at depths between 1,000 feet and 10,000 feet, and almost 800 different species of them have been discovered. Los corales blancos de profundidad eh, forman uno de los ecosistemas más importantes de Europa. De hecho, pueden llegar a albergar más de 800 especies diferentes, vivir hasta los 3.000 metros de profundidad, pero en su formación se necesitan siglos, incluso milenios. Algunos de estos arrecifes se han llegado a datar en más de 8.000 años de antigüedad, por ello son tremendamente sensibles y vulnerables. Se cree que posiblemente el 50% de estos arrecifes ya hayan podido desaparecer, sobre todo a causa del uso de técnicas de pesca destructivas, como es el caso del arrastre de fondo. In the Mediterranean, which in ancient times was a tropical sea, species of coral that form reefs near the surface still survive. Others are deep water corals, and some of their formations have been dated at more than 8,000 years old. In fact, many of these habitats have not even been explored yet. One example is the deep water coral reef recently discovered by Oceana near the Strait of Gibraltar, at depths of 1,000 to 1,700 feet. Unfortunately, although it has yet to be explored, destructive fishing practices have already damaged or killed parts of the reef. Due to their volcanic origins, the Canary Islands, Azores, and Madeira are home to a bounty of reefs. They extend over large areas, both off the islands and on underwater mountains and seabeds. These habitats boast rich biodiversity and provide shelter for many species of commercial interest. Reefs are vital habitats for a great variety of marine species that breed, feed, and live in them. Nevertheless, many areas are subjected to intense pressure from factors that include pollution, construction along the coast, and excessive exploitation of fishing resources. This lack of protection is alarming because of the rapid loss of biodiversity. And what's more, it does not comply with international law. Most human activities in the sea are aggressive, but some are especially so. Bottom trawling, for example, has damaged almost half of the existing reefs in some areas. Reefs are also threatened by exotic or invading species. At the same time, climate change and the increasing acidification of the oceans are affecting emblematic species like crustaceans and corals. Every one of these examples can always be related to the irresponsible use of the oceans. Both surface and deep water reefs are in decline in many areas. 
That is why Oceana is calling for the establishment of special protection plans, especially for deep water reefs, which are totally unprotected, and the responsible and efficient use of the sea as a source of living wealth.